bitches. What's up, bitches? Ethical World Network here, alright? I'm talking about that PS trip. No, 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 I'm kidding. Now, most of you don't even know about that, man. Y'all, 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 some of y'all are some young internet kids, man. That's circa 2006 YouTube right there. But anyways, guys, I'm here to talk to you about Twitch. Now, I spent the last two days, as you can obviously tell, learning, well, you don't know what I was doing, but I spent the last two days learning how to stream on Twitch. So a lot of you are wondering, well, why was it such a big deal? Because after learning about subscriber burn, I'm changing the format of how I was gonna do gameplay. From now on, every single game, Attack on Titan with my squad, um, any potential Pokemon if I do ever play that again in the future, Smash Brothers, um, even Fire Emblem, anything that I played on my channel that's going to be gameplay will be making a return, but I will be streaming it all from now on on Twitch, and then I'll be taking the footage after the fact and uploading it to YouTube. Now you're saying, what's the problem that you have with Twitch? Well, first thing, people will come into my stream and so many of them would say the stream was lagging, it was choppy, and they couldn't adjust the quality settings. I learned the basis behind all that. The solution, I'm not partnered on Twitch. And for some fucking reason, Twitch makes it so that if you're not a partner, then you can't adjust the quality settings of that person's stream. What kind of dumb shit is that? So the main issue that I had was that I was streaming in a 2,500 bit rate, and a lot of people just don't have the internet speed to keep up with that. So the main way to compensate would be to turn the quality down. But if you're not a Twitch partner, the only quality that people can select for you is source. I don't understand the basis behind this. Why do this? You make it so much more difficult for people to actually watch a streamer if they're not part of Like, what kind of fucking bias is that, Twitch? I have a, I have a little bit of aggression towards that because, I mean, I feel like it's such a dumb system. Maybe they, I mean, they, they must do it for a reason. There must be some kind of incentive behind it. But to be honest with you, I feel like it's stupid. So here's the, here's the conundrum that I'm in right now because now the thing is, you know I'm all about that quality, no treble. And the thing is, is with the um, with the Twitch live streaming, once I'm doing that, I wanna be able to take the footage and put it on YouTube. But I'm not gonna do so if the footage quality is shitty. So one thing I've noticed is that raising the bit rate of the stream also raises the quality of the recording at the end. If I use a really high bit rate, then I'm able to get really almost, you know, pristine quality for the recording after the fact. So I did a couple of experiments and I saw that if I use like a 10,000 bit rate, even though that's fucking massive and insane, my computer can handle it, but it would make the stream so bad to watch because almost no one will be able to see it due to the high bit rate. But the quality of the footage at the end, it would be looking like I did it for my DSLR. So that's the, that's the issue I have right now. I want to stream in super high quality, but most people can't watch it since they don't have the quality controls thanks to Twitch being stupid. And because of that, I'm not able to get HD footage and put on my channel. So it makes things difficult for me because now if I want to live stream Fire Emblem, I'm gonna to have to do it in like a 1000 bit rate to make things easier for everybody since they can only watch it at source value. But then the footage after is gonna look shitty. So what am I gonna do? Upload shitty Fire Emblem footage to the channel? I don't know, I gotta wait until I get partnered before I can do any of that. I'm hoping broadband will be able to help me out like they said they would, um, no action there yet, but then again, you know, I mean, there's a certain series that we're supposed to be working on with broadband as well too, you know, and a lot of that stuff has kind of been like in the air because I've been spending so much time trying to get this streaming thing working. I gotta give a shout out to my man Retro Gaijin though, because without this dude helping me, I would have never learned how to live stream. I actually had the gear for it, I just didn't know the settings. This dude helped me out to the maximum. Retro, your your <clears throat> your channel will be linked in the description, dude. Thank you so much for helping me out. He's a really cool dude. His stream is just, oh, just beautiful quality. I keep doing the, but it's true. His stream is of the utmost quality. I mean, I haven't even seen a stream that good yet. So I mean, hey, um, definitely go over to his guy, this guy, if you want to see my quality stuff. But I mean, yeah. So from this point forward, everything will be on Twitch and then uploaded to YouTube after the fact. And um, another thing that I was working on, every time I would use my 3DS capture card, I would not be able to um, use that with the stream because it would always lag out whenever I turned it on on my computer. It made things a little bit difficult and I learned that the main thing I had to do was just plug it directly into the computer rather than through this USB hub that I have here. So yeah, uh, I'm learning these things along the way. I'm not like a streaming pro or whatever. It took me a couple of days to get all this in pack, but I mean, hey, I got it all down now, so I mean, now that that's out the way, also I'm doing a couple of hardware upgrades as well too, just certain things that I realize I need when streaming. Um, I only have one monitor. Not gonna work for live streaming unless I do manage to use like a, 
like a phone to view the comments. But even then, there's a lot of benefits to having multiple monitors when doing live streams, as most of you may know. So that is getting changed. I'm actually going to be using three monitors now, which is a pretty big upgrade. Uh, I actually am going to be pretty damn broke this month. It's funny, I, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should not have bought those monitors and the stand. And then I also bought the wires so I can have all of them connected in the right way. And then I bought speaker stands so I can have more table real estate and um, you know have more space for the monitor set up. And I bought a tripod, a small one for the table, so that way I could, um, give me a second. <sighs> I bought a small little tripod. Now this tripod, that you're on right now, well, that you guys are on right now, this tripod, it's not on the table, it's on the floor, but uh, I don't know, it's not that stable. I took off a leg so it could fit, but I mean, yeah, I'm going to be getting another tripod, putting that shit on the table. So in order to put the tripod on the table, I have to get more table space. And the reason why I'm putting the tripod on the table is because when I have the triple display, like the, here's my display number one right here. You may see it right there. Display number one and then two and three are gonna be like, the third one's gonna be here. You know, so I mean, it's gonna block the camera view. So I'm gonna have to pull the camera closer. So from now on, you're going to be getting a lot more intimate shots with your boy in gaming videos and news videos and all that. Cause you're now gonna be like this close, you know? Kind of like the old days of how I used to shoot it. That shit was uncomfortable as fuck. That's why I stopped. Cause it's like, holy shit, nigga. Like, what's good? <laughs> like, yeah, it was uncomfortable. So I mean, hey. So now I'm fully versed within Twitch streaming lingo. I, I feel pretty damn good about myself. I'm gonna be able to do all that fancy shit. Like when somebody follows me, just have like a celebratory thing pop up on the screen. Man, that shit's gonna be fancy, man. You, you, I can't wait until I can have everything teched out, decked out the way I would myself. And you guys know me. It's not exactly going to be normal shit, you know? Like all the stuff that I'm associated with usually is weird in some form or fashion. I just came off of a 4chan thread and I found that there was hentai drawn to me for God's sakes. I mean, I was just browsing, but um, yeah, there's fucking hentai drawn to me in the hentai board. It was a great thread, by the way, but I mean, it's a picture of me fucking Red Robin. Like, good God, dude. <laughs> These dudes are going in. It's not, it's not like I asked for that shit either. I didn't like request, oh, draw me having sex with my Smash Brothers main. Like, no, someone just drew it. Oh, here's that. and it's good. <laughs> it's good quality. Anyways, so, I just wanted to make this video, inform you guys of what's going on. I know some of you were saying, you know, where the hell are you? It's been two days and whatnot. You guys have to understand this one thing about me. A lot of you are new subscribers, considering I've made almost 30,000 in the last 30 days. I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not really somebody that handles hardware failure well, or like technical, technical failure well. Like for example, if I wanted to stream and Issues kept happening that I couldn't fix. You know, I get downtrodden about it. I mean, it doesn't keep me down forever. I eventually learn how to fix it, but it's just frustrating for me. You know, that's the way I deal with things. I apologize if it's inconvenient for some of you guys, but once I'm done and I figured out the problem, it'll never pop up again. If the problem never pops up again, then it means that I'll be able to do whatever it was that I couldn't before to the best quality. And that's the main thing I want to do. Make sure that the quality is top notch, top tier elitist PC gaming master race quality. Um, yeah, so at least now you guys know, um, you're informed now of what was going on. The videos will continue their regular scheduled programming with gaming videos to follow soon after. I would have some up today, but I don't have my triple monitor set up. Now, I want to wait until that stuff comes in. When is it coming in? It comes in on Monday, so two days. You guys are going to have to wait two days for gameplay videos. Um, there's a lot of stuff I got to get caught up on, a lot of news articles, a lot of stuff on YouTube being glitched out apparently, uh, Smash Brothers movie, all that shit. So I'll be... I'll be doing my best to catch up, you know? It's always bad when I miss a day because then there's like a million topics that I gotta jump on top of. And usually I do it late, so like the topics are like days old and I feel like they're old, so I kinda like, like, oh, I don't know if I wanna do this video because everyone's already seen this topic already. But I mean, some of you just wanna see me do the video for my opinions, which I don't know why the fuck you care about, I mean, but either way, whatever the case may be, I'll do so. Um, yeah, just let me know your articles that you want me to cover. Um, hit me up on Twitter and whatnot. Uh, let me see, let me keep myself cool. Well, speaking of cool, the weather's getting really nice here in New York, finally. So I'm starting to feel that real summertime vibe. I'm feeling good about myself. So I don't know, it probably won't change shit for you on the watching end, but for me, for me, I feel pretty damn great. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of weird random videos from this point forward. So don't be surprised if you see something that's a little bit 
off-putting in your sub box. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.